Hey everyone, welcome to today's vlog. I am so excited about this video, but before we get into the vlog, I need to show you guys this new productivity app that I've been using. And I came across this company called ClickUp, which is actually today's sponsor. You guys, I am obsessed with this. It's literally one app that can replace all your productivity tools in one. Literally can create folders, which is one of my favorite things for all your projects and get as detailed as you want with each one. They have drag and drop checklist boards, if like that's your style. And one thing I love, is if you have a team say you have a business you can collaborate with partners you can also add them to your projects and you guys can chat in the interface of ClickUp back and forth and a big thing that stood out to me is how you can track your time for various projects so I like to do time block to see how you're spending your time and that's been such an eye-opener for me it actually has made me like move a lot faster on things therefore making me more productive and if your person has a lot to get done like me right now where you have a lot of deadlines things you need to be doing by certain times you can set reminders that will come and remind you all, all on their own, which I really, really love. Say if you use other calendars elsewhere, you can also connect them with your ClickUp, which is what I do. So lately I've been using ClickUp to manage a lot of projects that I have, that I'm starting on, that I am beginning again, or things that I already had in the works. And I place them into ClickUp and ClickUp is totally free. Everything is thought out. And a lot of the problems that I've had with a lot of the other productivity sites that I've tried to use, like you can only go so far with tailoring it to what you need. They've really thought about everything. I really want to be that girl with this and like really get into it. So maybe I'll do another video where I really, really break it down of like how I set it up. But this is how I've set it up so far and I'm gonna add more to it as I'm learning. So they have a dashboard where you can see everything, which is really, really nice. You can see what you need to do, what's on your calendar, where things are, if something is urgent, if you're past due, just things that are coming up, things that you've added recently. I love it. One of my favorite things that they have on here though, it's their tab that's called goals, and you can literally create a goal and track it in real time. And I feel like it just gives you a visual of where you're at with your goals. In here, I have started like a 60 day challenge with myself and I'm just gonna go in, whether that's every other day or once a week and track how, where I'm at and just see the bar go up. So you can create as many spaces as you want. Some of the spaces that I've created is like my creator workspace. And as you guys can see, I just have like my brand deals, 2024, goals that I have for myself and where I can track it and then plan for each platform. So this is where like I plan out my content so the next folder is my publishing folder so as you guys know if you've been here for a long time i have a publishing business publishing is still a big part of my life it's where i make most of my income so i made sure to have its own folder and then i just have like my brain dump to do list like i just create this just in case if i'm thinking of something really quickly i just write it down i'm able to look at it on the dashboard I'm like oh yeah i have that let me add it to this space let me add it here on the calendar let me put a reminder here things like that i've added my google calendar on here so everything will cross over to there as well they just make it really really easy so if you're a person that just can tend to feel overwhelmed all your stuff is all over the place and you're looking for a better way to like create a system be more productive be more organized whether you're starting a new business whether you work for yourself whether you have a big family whether you have a team or you're just an individual just like trying to get your life together and you need a place to like kind of dump everything highly highly recommend 
click up and you guys i know this is sponsored but it's literally totally free if you click my link so if you want to start your own click up today just make sure to click the link in my description it'll take you right on over there and i just want to say thank you click up for sponsoring this part of the video good morning welcome to a new video you guys i'm so excited to be filming picking up the camera yet again you see the consistency is here i've just been in my like filming mood like i feel like it's coming back slowly but surely your girl is back as i feel up to it i'm slowly exiting out of like what you call your lazy girl era and entering into like my comeback era and really working on becoming that girl like that is what I'm focusing on. If it doesn't have to do with bettering myself in any way or helping me get to a point where I see myself being, I'm not doing it. You can happily count me out. Ever since I've been in that mentality, things are changing like this. That I take you guys on a day of my life of just getting back on track, getting my life together, really exiting that lazy girl era because I'm telling you, I have no idea what has been going on for the last two years. But today I really just want to get on top of things and like really set in stone a plan that I can follow. I've already been thinking of it and setting it up slowly, but I really want to like complete that, get clear on where I want to go and what are things I want to accomplish, especially while I'm living here in New York City. Like that's huge for me. I came here for a reason and I have yet to even tap into that like i've been just so distracted doing other things i've not tapped into like me and the reason i'm here it is time to get it together so i'm gonna create a plan and start executing that plan create new habits i feel like this is gonna be the theme of my content for a while i know i said i have one more moving vlog coming that is definitely still coming as my furniture arrives and things like that that'll come at a later time i want to actually start showing you guys like my life in new york city me living day to day what i'm focusing on and i want you guys to like read get to know me as i'm starting my life over i'm going to be showing you guys how i'm doing that in real time like this is me starting over with my content and showing up on the internet just with myself and things i'm doing in my own life and so i really want to treat my next couple of vlogs like if you guys don't know me and i'm introducing my life because i just felt like i've been gone for so long and so many things have changed so many things have happened i just want to make sure you guys are all caught up whether if you're a long time viewer or you're somebody new that wants to get to know me i just feel like these next couple videos i really want to show you guys my life me catch you guys up so yeah i'm so excited to film this video though it feels like an old alexis video if you've been here for a long time then you know i just feel so excited to just like hang out to take you guys along with me and just to start making content again like i've just been so in my head about content you guys it's really like eating me alive it's actually ridiculous it's ridiculous i just need to pick up the camera vlog and whoever wants to watch it will watch it and that's all that i care about right now i just like want to have fun with it again and just like forget about the rest honestly so that's kind of the vibe but i do have to say i am so proud of the way that i did my skincare and my makeup when i tell you i've been out of commission on everything like i forgot even how to get ready like i've just been looking a mess been a mess now that i feel like i'm like coming back to me i've been just like playing around with my makeup getting ready again and just like loving it I I, feel like I did a good job today but i feel like in my last video a whole bunch of you guys like asked me what my lip combo was i'll have it linked down below it's just literally charlotte tilbury number two i do line my lips in a certain way so if you guys want like want a tutorial i can show you and then i just have hailey bieber road lip gloss i do very very light minimal makeup i'm very much a natural girl i just like to use like what i have to like lift up my face so i do do it in a certain way so if you guys want a tutorial in my next video let me know i am proud of the skin i've been taking really really good care of my skin like you can like start to see it now i used to have so much texture all on my forehead i used to have so much discoloration and I feel like I'm finally figuring out like what works for me and how to get rid of all that. So I'll have all my skincare and makeup linked down below, like my routines of everything. Um, yeah, it's basically what I just did at the beginning of the video. Mm -hmm. 
You guys, it has been cloudy. Like, I've not seen the sun in days. Um, I just got done making breakfast. I am gonna go grocery shopping later today because this is like the last bit of food that we have. But you guys, I'm obsessed with this breakfast. This is the breakfast that I made in my last video. And I wanted to show you guys like more in detail like how to do it if you wanna make it. I am currently on like a high protein diet like I talked about in my last video. So I focus on eating a lot of high protein meals um, and I like to add protein in ways that I like never thought of before and focusing on that and I just feel like that's just what makes me feel better energy wise. I still eat a very balanced diet because that's what my body requires. Like I don't do well if I'm cutting off carbs, if I'm cutting this, I'm cutting that. Like I need all the food groups just in moderation and what's right for me. So I do well with a lot, a lot of protein, some veggies and some carbs. So your girl's been on TikTok. I love TikTok when it comes to like finding recipes. If you're looking for a few creators to follow, I'll link the girl that made this recipe down below. Like her page is full of high protein meals, but also my friend Caitlin Nolan really does like really, really good recipes. Like her food is so good. I've tried a few already. She just has like well-balanced meals. She also has like great like go-to ones where you just want to make over and over and over again because they're so easy. So she's like workouts and stuff like that too. She's like a certified trainer. So I'll link her page down below, but I've been kind of like the only content I've been consuming is like content like that. Things that motivate me, make me feel better. I pick like pretty easy ones. This one is really, really easy. It took me like 10 minutes to make. You need like two eggs, pesto, cottage cheese, seasonings of your choice, and then one chicken sausage. And then I do the sweet potato hash browns from Whole Foods. But literally you put your egg, pesto, cottage cheese seasoning in a bowl. You whisk that up, you cut up your sausage, start cooking your sausage, so getting a little crispier, and then pour your egg over. Put your potato on the side. You just lay it in your bowl. I put the potato at the bottom, the egg, and then I add my microgreens on top. And then I dress it with some hot honey, you guys. You need to try this breakfast. It's so good. So it's a good day to film because this is the last little bit of food that we have in the house. So I'm gonna go grocery shopping later today and I'm gonna show you guys like all the things that I typically get during the week to kind of kind of have food prep for me to go so I can like make sure I stay on track. You guys, one thing I'm like haven't been on top of is drinking water. I don't know what it is. Like I honestly am starting to like not like the taste of water. Like, so what I've been doing is just been adding a liquid IV to it. I wanna try the drink element ones. I think that's what it's called. You can get them off like Amazon, I think. So I might order a case of those because I think they have like less sugar and stuff like that. I need to do my research. I do wanna find like the best electrolyte drink. Like that's my next goal. Like since I like it so much, when I do drink this, I do feel better. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I feel less foggy, I have more energy, I feel less exhausted. I just think that that's like the salt, the minerals that you're getting through it. And it just makes me feel really, really good. It gets me to drink my water. So typically I'll just make me like a little glass like this or I'll put it in my hydro flask and I will drink that entire thing. So I'm sitting here and eat this and then I know I wanna get a workout in today and prioritize that. The beautiful thing about this building is that I have absolutely everything in it. So the fact that I've been just sitting around not utilizing the amenities in this building is actually insane. So I'm gonna go down and take like an online Pilates class. I use Forma Pilates and I'm gonna go do a workout and I'm actually really excited about it. <laughs>
don't know why I forgot that my apartment complex had a full Pilates studio with reformers that we can use at any time as long as there's like not a reservation or a class. Guys, it's so nice in here. It was so peaceful, such a beautiful view. And I just have this whole room to myself, but I am tired and thirsty. So I'm about to head back upstairs, shower and get ready for the day. Now that my workout is done. I'm just drinking a little Celsius because I have some work that I want to get done today and I need my energy up. But I have to tell you guys about the products that I was just using in the shower. Um, they actually sent me this a long time ago and I have a whole bathroom full of products that I'm trying to like get through and use and see what I love. I saw this sitting there and this inspired me to do the everything shower. It's called Nara and I got their body wash and body foam exfoliant and then I also have their body oil which I've used in love but to smell good you need to layer with this this oil smells like no other oil like it smells so good it makes your skin so soft love this been using that also love the applicator it's a spray applicator so it's easy to put on but I just use their body wash and exfoliating foam in the shower you guys you guys I'm obsessed so I think they have really good ingredients I think you can get it non-scented as well. My favorite thing though that I used from them was their body exfoliant glove. You guys, I don't know what material this is. I've never felt anything like this. It is so good. I feel like a brand new person after using this. So they have like in tan and black and I just like they're so like aesthetically pleasing. Like most companies that make like exfoliant gloves or like la loofahs, any of them, they're like, they miss on the aesthetics. Like I'm just like, can I have something cute in my shower? Okay, so I just got dressed for the day. I'm not wearing anything too crazy. I'm just wearing this jacket that I got from Lululemon a couple months ago that I've been obsessed with. I don't know, something about these jackets that make you look put together. Just throw it on with a set. I just love these. And then I'm just wearing these wide leg leggings from this company called, I'm not sure, it's like B Bunny, Bunny Fit, something with a bunny. That's all I know. But I'm telling you, her athleisure brand is top tier. I don't know what she puts in her athleisure wear, but it's some of the best that I've had and she sent me like a whole bunch. So like I'll wear some randomly and like it becomes my favorite athleisure piece that I have in my closet. So I'll definitely leave these down below. I'm even a taller girl and these look really, really good on me. I get compliments on these pants everywhere I go. If you want pants that make you look good, they work. They're literally the perfect pants. If they're still up on her website, I will link them down below. This is like something I like to wear around the house when I have a lot of stuff to do, but plus like, just with my new body, I'm not comfortable in a lot of things. So if you guys see me repeating outfits and wearing like some things that I just feel comfortable in, that's just that's just where I'm at. Okay, I don't have the time to be overthinking about what I'm wearing. I'm gonna be wearing the same like four or five things, make sure they're clean, and that's all I can handle right now. And this is one of them. I'll leave everything linked down below. Okay, so I just sat for the last like hour planning my life away who when I tell you guys I feel so much better like I actually feel so inspired to just like look forward to something after not looking forward to anything for so many months and being able to put like everything I've been thinking like all the ideas that have been coming to me out like in a plan to where I can like start taking action steps towards it like I can see and visualize how I can actually make this happen in my life is nice like I don't know it kind of gives you like some hope so I highly recommend if you have been feeling in a rut or you've just kind of been say out of it but just feeling out of touch with life a little bit lost and you can't seem to find your way no matter how hard you try I promise like laying it all out creating an in-depth plan and being able to see like how you can make these things become a reality of your life and making like a i don't know like sometimes you have these goals and these dreams and they feel so far out of touch for you and it can kind of be hard to believe that they can happen for you because of how different they are than your reality currently right now but if you were to like make a plan that connects the two it's so much easier to believe and you have like an it builds like more of like a natural motivation to actually get up this is just me changing a few things i've done in my lifestyle so if you're finding yourself in that headspace, maybe these things can help you. You know, obviously we're all different. Take everything that I say with a grain of salt. Take what helps you and leave what doesn't. But these are kind of like some steps that I've taken to get at least to the where the headspace I am today where I can actually like get up and take action towards my life and be inspired to and falling back in love with like taking care of me. On purpose, 
but also on accident it just like gradually started happening is i have put myself in what i call an isolation period in my life you can call it your isolation season your isolation era that is what i'm currently in so i knew for me to like regain focus on me and what i'm supposed to be doing in my life and stop wasting time i kind of cut all outside noise out and i don't think this is necessary for everybody i'm just a person that thrives better when i am completely unbothered and left alone and i feel like over the last two years i've just been pulled into so many directions and i feel like a lot of it honestly was wasted time not to say that i didn't meet like great people and have great memories made and had cool work experiences happen but i feel like a lot of it it's like great i have memories that i will never forget outside of that a lot of it was just like wasted time that just took away from doing what I needed to do and now delayed what I could be potentially right now, if that makes any sense. And another big thing that pulled me into this direction, I was just exhausted. I felt like I had a lot of energy draining things around me that needed to be cut off because I had no energy to give myself, but I was giving it to all these th outside things outside of me. So when it was time for me to get, get up and get to work, I had nothing to give myself. So a few weeks ago, I sat myself down and I was like, we need to change something and I'm just pouring into myself. I cut out most social media. I go on probably like a couple times a week just to check on things. Um, but even then, like I have it locked on my phone. It's such a game changer for me. I don't really go out anymore. I stopped really even going to work events. I stopped having meetings. Like I just stopped everything, but wasn't dire or necessary for me to be doing right now. And once I did that, I also realized like how much I was allowing myself to be distracted. The things I was doing was making no difference. It wasn't progressing me in any way at all whatsoever. And I had to sit down and tell myself like, what are you afraid of missing out on, right? Like nothing is changing. You keep going to these things and doing these things, being here, going there, doing this, going on this, doing that, showing up for other people, doing what you think other people want you to do, but yet you come home and you're still in the same spot while everybody else is progressing. And I had to really be real with myself and figure, figure out like, why am I staying stagnant? It's because what I'm putting my time into is not what I'm supposed to be doing. If it was, then it'd be beneficial to me. I would feel good. I would gain energy from it, right? But that is not happening. I'm just getting more and more exhausted, more and more anxious as time goes on. I feel like if you've met me or seen me or watched my content of the last two years of my life, you don't really know the real me. That person has been put away because of my mental state. I can feel the real me getting closer to like wanting to come out and take up space, which I haven't felt like me in a really, really long time. So that does feel good. I've seen the city, I've enjoyed it, but I did move here for a specific reason and I can't make those reasons happen. Being the version I am currently right now, it'll be there if it's meant for you when you're done with this journey for yourself. If it is not there for you, it was never meant for you. Like I used to be like, oh, I don't wanna miss out. What if I miss this opportunity? I miss this, I miss that. And all that anxious energy is such a waste of time. Because I promise you, speaking from experience, I've been that girl who's so scared to miss out or this or that or say no. And all that did was chip away at me over time. Instead of a long time ago, taking a step back, starting this journey of pouring back into myself and then showing up for opportunities. When you show up when you know you shouldn't be showing up for things, those are more missed opportunities than you in the house taking care of yourself. And literally all I spend my days doing is just listening to positive things. I only consume positive content when I do consume it. I just created a, a world of peace around me. Like if it's not giving peace, it's got to go. I'm not around it. Like even if it's like, nothing was said nothing was done if my gut is like get out you feel i feel uncomfortable i don't feel at ease i start getting anxious i'm out i don't, I don't want to be around anything that can disrupt what i'm working on or that can possibly drain me or take energy from me nothing is worth my peace if you are feeling constantly exhausted drained no energy just not happy it could be your external environment it could be what's around you it could be what you're consuming it could be a lot of things that you may feel not ready to let go or you may feel that you can't let go out of guilt even though you know it's not for you and your body your mind and the way that you feel is just a result of you holding on to things that are no longer for you and until you let those things go, you will never get to the place that you're trying to go. But I know that for right now, my plan is, is create a plan of what I'm gonna be doing every single day 
that align with my goals and where I'm trying to go, you have to go through that period where you build the foundation that you then can like build on top of. In order for me to get where I'm trying to go, I have to be a certain version of myself and I know that. And I'm gonna take what I need to do, break it down into weekly, monthly, or even daily things, that habits that I need to do. So I know I don't have to think about my goals every single day, that's too overwhelming. I know if I do my daily to-do list or my daily tasks, I know I'm working towards those big goals. Like one day it's gonna happen for me, all I have to think about is what I need to do today. So I'm not overwhelming myself. The first thing I have in here is my daily mindset. How can I ensure that I am prepared to face every day at the best version of myself that I am for that day, right? Every day is gonna be different. Some days you're gonna feel more motivated than the other. That's perfectly fine. But what can I do every single day to build up my mental so it can actually be strong enough to support me through my day of the things I have to do? Like I'm holding my own hand like a toddler, right? I'm walking myself through this process. I don't wanna have to think at all so i'm breaking down even the smallest things you don't have to do that do what works for you and the next i have my work schedule right so i want to treat every single goal like it's my day job and take it seriously there's no one else that's going to hold me accountable but myself no one's coming to save me and make it happen for me i have to do it but when it comes to big goals it really comes down to what you're doing day by day to see that big result so for me i have a set schedule for every category and stream of income that i have and I have it all time blocked. Certain days I'm gonna be working on this, certain days I'm gonna be doing this, certain days I'm gonna be doing that. That way I can ensure in one week everything that is supposed to be getting done gets done because I have a schedule and that way I'm not scattered all over the place. In the ClickUp app, you can have a section just for your goals, but I also made a breakdown for annual goals and habits where I have it broken down from my actual goals to what quarter I want to accomplish it in into then daily habits and tasks that I want to be doing. I take those and I insert them on my calendar to kind of have an overview of when I want to see these things accomplished by in my actual calendar, which is also connected to my Google calendar. And I won't go into too much detail, but some of the areas of work that I'm going to be focusing on, obviously my three businesses, right? So I have content creation. I really, really want to start taking this very, very seriously and take it as far as I possibly can go and breaking that down and making it into a schedule and taking it serious as my job and being responsible. And I'm doing the same thing when it comes to my publishing business. I have two parts to that. I have my own personal publishing business. I will never let that business die. It's been the rock of my income for years. Like when I, this time period that I've taken off work and I haven't really been uploading, that is what's been supporting me this entire time. So I like to prioritize that and make it just as important. Luckily for me, it's pretty much a passive income at this point. I'm just maintaining it. I haven't really done that much to it in years, but I have some new financial goals that I want to reach, new things I want to do, new things I want to start investing in and growing my finances in a certain way to then create generational wealth. And that's kind of like my focus. Yes, it's nice that technically I don't really have to do much for it anymore because I've already done the foundation work of building it uh, for so long. And now it's just kind of sustains itself with me doing a little bit of maintenance a couple times a month on it, which is nice. But if you do want to scale it to a higher level, I know the effort of work that I have to put into it. So I am prioritizing that and I have a whole plan mapped out for that and then we have the other side to publishing which is our course also I keep getting questions about the course like where did it go it's still there I know we took it down for a little while because we had a lot of students join and we wanted to make sure we were focusing on them we don't like to overdo it too much like if too many people join we will stop it just so we can really make sure people are getting results and helping them um, it's still currently open right now we are thinking about maybe closing it soon and then reopening it back up at the end of this year just because it's starting to get full a lot but yeah it is still there I get questions about it in every Q&A that I do comments I don't personally talk about it a lot on my channel just because this is in a publishing channel and I don't know how many people are actually interested in hearing about it if you guys are I mean I could talk about it more just let me know down in the comments but I feel like I don't want to bombard you with publishing information when this is not a business channel like this is just about my life um, which that is a part of, of my life but that's why I haven't been talking about it that much but yeah it's still very much a thing if you want more information on it down in my description besides that I also have to work on that make sure that's going okay checking on the people that are in that, just running that business. Roberto does most of that work though, but I do a little bit of things, so things I have to do 
I put it in here as well. I've really just like broken it down, laid everything out in here, and now I feel like from this point on, I know exactly what I need to do in order to move forward. We can tell the future, right? If you wanna look at where you're gonna be in the next six months, look at today's decisions that will tell you. You're gonna continuously do what you're doing today over and over and over again. Whatever that is, that's the results you're going to brew in your life. If you want different, make different decisions. In order to know what those decisions are, it's nice to like break it down and figure it out for yourself. And that's kinda like what I did here. I'm gonna go run some errands, get some stuff done. I think I wanna go to the grocery store. I'm probably gonna stop at Whole Foods. So I'm gonna do a little food shop, nothing too big, because we do have some food, but there's like some missing ingredients that I need. I really wanna take care of my body and like what I'm putting in my body and cook a lot more at home. So I tend to like wanna order out during lunchtime. So if I have lunches pre-made, I know for sure it'll stop me from doing that. My issue is just like taking the time to cook food when I'm really busy, like I don't even wanna think about that. So I'm trying to think of problems ahead of time that I can solve for myself as I'm starting this new week of trying to get back onto my routine and just like this change, I wanna make it as seamless and easy as much as I possibly can and like easy on my nervous system. When I run a few errands, I love bringing this bag. I actually got it from the company, Suzanne. Link it down below, but I love how you could just hold it in your hand, but it's also over the shoulder holds all your groceries. I just feel like it's a good like huge duffel to carry around errands to run or are you going out to shoot content? Like it is that bad. It actually has some texture to it and it looks like a little bit, just like a little bit elevated, a little bit. It's literally just a wide open bag um, with one pocket and, and then one pocket in the front. And I love that it has like two different size handles on it. So I'll link it down below. So it looks like it's a little cloudy. I'm gonna bring my umbrella just in case it decides to rain on me. You honestly never know with this city, like you really don't. like it'll be sunny and five seconds later it'll be raining so i'm gonna put that in my bag Let's go. Did you have any other questions? No, that's it. Thank you so much. Have yeah, a good day. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. So I just did a return at Parachute. I ended up returning all that stuff. got back from Whole Foods. I didn't get a lot of stuff. I got some Mountain Valley water. We don't have a water dispenser here in this apartment. This is the first place I haven't had a water dispenser. They actually have where they can deliver their water in a glass like five gallon bottle to your door. So we might set up a subscription with them. I really, really like Mountain Valley water just because their water has been thoroughly researched and just like where it's sourced from. Um, it just depends on your state where you are, I think, too. You're not getting a lot of microplastics in your water, so I like to drink from a glass bottle if I do do it. So I got a few of those, but I am looking to just get the five gallon bottle just so um, I'm always having to buy like these water bottles every single time. So I got two of those, and I got a whole bunch of chomps. You guys, I'm obsessed with chomps, but I don't like the original flavor. If you're a person who like hates the healthy dupes of things, um, I would not get the original flavor. I would get jalapeno, which is my favorite. My mom hated these, and then I had her try the jalapeno ones, and she's like, okay, I'm obsessed. Now I get it. Um, it's still like different tasting, but it's way better than just like the plain original. I don't know, this is my favorite flavor. And then I just got their um, turkey pepperoni flavor, which I'm actually really excited for. I love pepperoni, so I'm gonna see if I like this flavor, and it might be my new flavor. So I got a whole bunch of chops. 
I love chops. I feel like it's a great snack to take, take on the go. Also, like for me, just to have something readily available for me to eat and a great, great source of protein. Um, and then I just got a seasoned piece of salmon. I love throwing salmon in the air fryer. It's like the easiest meal to make and the air fryer makes the perfect salmon. Then I got their grass fed beef. I just get to make some meals. And then I got their top sirloin. I don't know what it is, but I love Whole Foods meat. Like their steaks, their steaks are good. Um, and then I just got one avocado and then I just got some microgreens. I love them that on top of meals and stuff like that. I love eating it with salmon. It's just an easy way to get your greens in that's like not overpowering. Then I just picked up these two fast acting hydration caffeine uh, energy sticks. Really, I just get these to flavor my water. Um, I've never tried this brand before, but it was like right at the checkout, so I grabbed those. Then I just got the Good Culture cottage cheese. I love these just to add like extra source of protein on things. Eat it in the morning, my favorite. And then if I'm gonna choose a snack, I love a chip and I'm obsessed with Siete's Fuego chips. If you're like a hot Cheeto girl or you like your spicy chip, you need to try these. These have such good ingredients. Um, I use them to solely replace my hot Cheeto addiction because I literally had one. So if you're looking for that, you need to try these. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. No red dyes in there, like the ingredients are good. I wrote one of these chili lime flavors. I'm gonna try those as well. Um, and then we just got some strawberries just to get some extra fruit. Yeah, so that's all I got I was just missing a lot of like protein for my meals. So I'm gonna prep some taco bowls tuna salad Just like easy one sheet meal where I just put like Brussels sprouts carrots all these vegetables put it in the oven and then cut up some steak Put it in there. I actually got these food trays from Target. They're for meal prep and you have like little slots where you can put your food So I'm gonna put it all in here i want to find glass ones like that's what i actually prefer i don't like using plastic stuff like this just because it gets into your food and it's not good for you um but once i do i will link those down below and order some but i'm going to use these for now because this is what i have but these are at target if you are looking so i just put all the food away that took me way longer than i thought it was i don't know if anybody else can relate to this but like why is time flying by so fast? That's been like another thing that's been getting to me a lot. Like, why do I wake up and then it's already 3 p.m. in two minutes? And I'm just like, how did this happen? You guys, I am so proud of myself when I tell you I have gotten most of my to-do list done. It has been months since I can even say something like that. I wanted to get my email box to zero, got that done. That just had been needing to get done. Like I've been letting so many emails just, let's not even talk about it, but I did it. I dealt with it, it's something that was like really on my mind. I did some accounting stuff that I've been needing to get done. Just a lot of admin work, worked on a few brand deals, like editing those. I really was excited to do today was like sit down, 
go over my goals, go over my schedule, really treat like my businesses as my, my job. Like I am my boss. And like if I were to show up to work every day and I really wanted to get on a schedule so my time management can be better and I'm not just like all over the place feeling overwhelmed. So I did that. I feel so much better. When I tell you guys in this bathroom in here, if you guys didn't even know I had a second bathroom because I never vlogged it, um, but this bathroom, don't mind that there's laundry drying in here. I don't dry my clothes in the dryer, but um, this bathroom was full of PR boxes like this. I'm not, I couldn't even open this door, but look at it now sparkling clean i did put a lot of the pr boxes in the office which i am vlogging for you guys i'm not gonna put it in this video but i'll put it in another one it's just a lot a lot of stuff so i'm gonna try to like figure out an organizational system because i know i'm just gonna continue to get pr put it in there but the office is as organized as it's gonna get like this couch right here don't mind the covers being off i'm cleaning them but but doesn't fully fit in my living room because it has a huge wide and leg that goes there so the other piece of this couch is literally in my office i feel like some people really thought i was going to leave this couch like this so that's really really annoying i need to figure out what i'm going to do with the couch i think i'm either i don't know if there's like a place where i can like give this away at i don't i have no idea like i don't know why i brought it to new york i mean i guess i did because i'm waiting for my couch to get made i am getting a new couch by the way from restoration hardware and i cannot wait when it comes you guys is going to complete this living room in another vlog um so i am gonna have to get rid of it soon but i don't really know if you know where i can like get rid of furniture in new york or a site that i can sell it on i'm not gonna sell it for that much because it definitely got ruined in the move i would love to donate it if you guys know any donating places in new york city that can come pick stuff up please leave it down below in the comments i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you want me to make this into like a little series and just showing you guys me kind of getting it together getting back into my flow the flow of things getting back to me and just like making stuff happen i love to keep sharing if you guys are not subscribed make sure you guys are leave a comment down below give this video a thumbs up any engagement helps me out as i'm making my way back to making content again leave the comments down below what you guys are wanting to see in my videos but i love you guys so so much and i will see you in the next vlog bye